Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something very interesting in MGIS or maybe remote sense, you know, as the case may be. We want to show you how you can easily download your digital elevation model for your preferred location or maybe for your location of choice. You know, it's actually very important because with that, you can proceed to get so many other information which you would use the them as your data, right? Good. So without any spending much time, thanks for coming to class. If you are coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for always checking up on us. So this is just like a guide or let's say how we want to run the stuff today or how we want to, yeah, how we want to run the stuff today. Very good. Now, first is that we need to locate the area, then we install the plugin. There's a plugin we are going to use on QGIS. Then launch the, launch the plugin and create profile because you need to create a profile for you to assess the dem right good. Then we download the dem and if possible, we save as what image file and any other business of the day. So the first thing is for us to what, locate what the area, or let's say, identify our location, right? Good. So for us to be able to do that, there are a set of points that um, we've created. So these are a set of um, longitude and latitude, right? Good. So yours might not be this, yours might just be a ship file or it could just be the points as well. So whatever the case is, if it's a ship file, you bring it in, import it as a ship file. If they are just the um, points data, you just um, import the point data as we want to show to you. Or maybe if it's just a JXL file, any other vector format, you just um, follow the procedure you would use, right? So we are using um, this point data and we'll show you how to do it, how to import it to what to QGIS which you already know so you go to layer you go to add layer then you go to what add limited text layer right because we've saved it as a csv file right good so under the data source manager for the limited text and uh, for the file name you click on browse good you navigate to the folder you want to work with which is what we are working with them download them right so this is the dem data we open it now this is a sample of um, the data we want to work with. So let's try to open some of these drop downs. So actually it's a CSV, then the record and fields option. It's not a um, decimal separated. Okay, decimal separator is comma no. Let's come to geometry. Good. Now for the geometry definition, we know that our X is what is longitude and then our Y is latitude. We don't have Z. That's one reason why we want to download what are them, right? So we want to just them um, get the Z value, which we can subsequently use. So maybe this is something we'll do subsequently on the video, right? On the channel, rather. So we have what the X to be longitude, we have the Y to be latitude, and the Z fields are all empty. Then another important thing is what your geometry CRS. Since we are working on uh, we are working with lat long, it's almost or it's just um, known that we are using them to reduce it for so let's assume that the point you want to work with or the point you've chosen it's not geographic and then it's uh, projected so you can come around your crs selector that's a coordinate reference system selector and then you search for let's say you filter to the preferred crs you want to use or where your point falls right so since as is a project city for we just work with what we have by default, right? Good. So we just do what we add and we close. So these are the points, or let's say, yeah, these are the points, or this now identifies our location. Let's use that. So this now helps us to what identify the location of um, whose them we want to download, right? So the next thing is for us to now um, get the plugin, which we will use for this tax right so we've actually installed it but we'll show you how to go about it so you go to plugins manage and install plugins right good so under the manage and install plugins we are using srtm downloader right so you just um, go to the search panel right then you type um, srtm then you see srtm downloader so srtm downloader so let's say yeah 
downloads SLTM tiles from NASA server. It is actually an acronym. So plug in for downloading a SLTM tile from a NASA server. So these are some other information of um, the plugin, right? So we already have it installed. So if you don't have it installed, you can just um, check around here. You see a tab for you to install it. Then you close the plugin, right? The plugin window, right? Good. So when you've done that, you should see it under what your plugin tabs, right? Good. You should see it under your plugins toolbar. So since we have um, downloaded and installed that, let's now click on the SRTM downloader. Are we together? So this is the SRTM downloader which we want to use to download the dem forward for our area of interest. So the next thing now is that uh, we are we can't actually or let's say we can't manually let's use that we can't manually determine the the coordinates. Um, Boundary, yeah, the coordinates bordering over this our area of concentration, or let's see the project location. So what we are going to do is that we are going to by default set it towards to canvas extent, which means since we have zoomed to the layer and we know that the points that um, are all here yeah, um, covers the area of interest, it simply means that if we use what is a um, set canvas extent, the coordinates that have been depicted here or the coordinates we have displayed here shows what shows that yes this is actually the coordinates that covers what the canvas and the project area are we together then the next thing is what the output file so if we don't select it it will just be downloaded as a scratch um, a scratch layer right so let's try to identify a particular location good so you by default okay not by default anyway. so when you get to that um what do you call it again I'm trying to select the output but you just navigate to the folder you want to work on so let's just uh, create a subfolder here and then um, let's call it them let's call it them right good so let's call it them and then we select that folder right good so you select that folder let's now select the folder then the next thing is that load them um, images on QGIS. Perhaps maybe you downloaded the area of um, your project area actually downloaded more than one tile of image. So they are going to the, the software is going to load all the image tiles on your layer panel, right? Good. Then all set just click on download. Good. So before you start there is actually a pop up for you to um, for you to um, login right good for you to log in so the link here actually takes you to you can just click on the link it will launch let's say yeah it will open on your browser maybe your default browser and it's actually very simple and interactive for you to create a profile um under what the edge data right good so for you to create a profile there you just need a username your password your 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 identity as your name so name your email address then if you're using it as an individual or maybe a company, you know, very simple and ensure that you also verify your mail because um, if you don't verify your mail and perhaps you forgot your password, you might not be able to recover your password. So you just um, click on the link if you don't already have an account. So um, click on the link and then create your account and you can definitely come back here and then use your, your login credential, which we've actually done. And um, you just click on what? Okay good so you can see the different uh, we have a uh, more than two okay we have four tiles here good so you can see the progress we have them um, the four of the tiles have been downloaded which covers what the project area right good. so you can just uh, wait for the process to continue to end and you will see the different tiles loaded under the layers panel right good. so one is gone we have a um, one over four covering our project area. That's two over four, right? Good. That's three now. Then we have done completed. Just um, click on OK. Then um, four of four images downloaded, and we can just uh, close, right? Good. So we have our uh, four images. So let's say should we call it the four tiles? 
we have the four of them downloaded over our project area so let's just uh, select multiple selection and then zoom to layer to see good now you can see the slight overlaps of the different um, good of the different images right and you can see that at least one point is inside each of the images right good so at least one point is inside each of the images like um, if we try to okay let's take this off a bit you can see perfectly how the points are inside what the okay. good so um, the next thing for us to do since we have been able to identify that um, we have actually according to the guide Created the area, installed the plugin, launched the plugin, and created your profile. Then downloaded that them, right? So the next thing is for us to save as an image file. So um, for us to be able to use this uh, them for maybe um, subsequently, definitely you can still bring it in as a um, HGT file, but uh, we prefer to save it as an image file. So maybe as it is like this, if you want to make it uh, more beautiful or if you want to change the coloring. You go to symbology, then single band, and pseudo color, right? Good. Then that's um, linear. Then instead of the continuous, we're using equal intervals. And then let's see what seven does here. Then the color ramp. Let's see. Should we use um, Should we use turbo, or we should select more from the color ramp? Let's um, use um, spectral and see. Um, let's not use spectra let's use the turbo but let's use the turbo so we can just apply for that particular layer and we say okay so you can see the difference right good so you can see the difference so let's say you can see how different this particular layer is compared to the other layers that um, we haven't modified the the symbology so this is one other stuff we are going to do subsequently on this series, right? Good. So since um, we have been able to download the different um, tiles that cover the project area, the next thing is for us to now save each of the tiles as what well as um, maybe T file or whatever the case is. So for us to do that, you right click. So we are going to do for one. However, you need to do it for all of them because um, you need it for your subsequent um, tax right so we right click and then we go to we right click on the layer we go to export and then we click on what save us right good so we have um save raster layer as we have um, the jotif right good we have the jotif then the file name so we just click on this good so finally navigated to the folder we want to work with so let's call it um, let's call this um, sheet one right so let's call it sheet one then we click on save then um, the CRS very important still on MWJ 64 so the extent the current because that's the layer we are working on then what else we have resolution let's just leave it at um, the current if you are very sure you can modify it possibly um, come to columns and then you can change this and you know but let's just proceed with this just trying to save the um, HGT file as what um, as an image file or maybe as a raster file right good so if all of that stuff are checked ensure that you uncheck and um, create VRT so we just say what okay good um, layer exported and um, successful uh, successfully saved raster layer so we have our sheet one again back here are we together good so we have our sheet one back here so you can see that if we put off these our sorry not them if we put off these other um, hmgt files we still have what our um, sheet one here so that's how you can save all other um, sheets and subsequently use them for whatever you want to for what tax you need them for so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope uh, we've provided solution to this um, particular gs problem and we open we've exhausted um, the guide or let's say a table of content or we have for today's video if you have any question if you have any tax if you have any assignment project that you would need our guide or our assistance on you can definitely contact us and we'll get back to you 
you can see the contact details under the description section of this video right or you check the channel description and you can also check the description section of this video to see um, videos that are related to this definitely you will see so many videos there and you would also see a link to help us get a coffee so we are going to see you on our subsequent videos if you like this video ensure you give it a thumbs up and have a very good time bye